Welcome back to the channel, Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and today we're taking a look at what's to come in 2023 for Warhammer the Horus Heresy. This video is sponsored by CMO Games. More on that later. So, looking ahead to 2023 for Warhammer the Horus Heresy. The Typhon Heavy Siege Tank is rumbling towards the front lines as we speak, and already the clamor of war echoes just over the New Year's horizon. What else is in store for the legions battling for the fate of the fledgling Imperium in 2023? Well, let's take a look. Alright, so we have that Horus Heresy trailer from earlier in the year. Quite the epic little uh, unveiling. Very, very cool graphics in here. Alright, and then we see Horus Ascended. This model's already been previewed. It looks great. Typhon Heavy Siege Tank. Also looks pretty cool. The book, uh, Siege of Terra, coming this year. Alright, and then we see a couple of new models as well. Some of them are pretty obvious. So let's take a look at the rest of the article. I did see there were some still photos. And then if we need to, we can look back through there and dissect the video. There are a few things we've seen before, and some we definitely haven't. What did you spot in the teaser video? So this is the new Horus model. I think this looks amazing. The base is too much for me, but I pretty much custom base everything. Also, unfortunately, this is a resin model from Forge World. Uh, so I have little to no interest in it. Uh, it does look really, really cool and is exponentially better than the old version of Horus. Uh, but that being said, I really just don't have much interest at all in resin. If I was going to go out of my way to pick up a resin model, it uh, would probably be this one though, because this is just absolutely awesome. Definitely a top notch. Beautiful, beautiful sculpt. The base, too busy and a little unrealistic that there would ever be that many bones in such a small area. That being said, I mean, if the base is the issue, that's the easiest thing to fix. The Dark Shadow of Horus Ascended Looms, heralding the arrival of the single most powerful character in the Age of Darkness so far. This incredible model befits the godly power Horus commands on the height of the heresy, and it will be terrorizing a battlefield near you before long. I'm curious too, like how strong is Horus in the Horus Heresy? I would imagine pretty strong. The Typhon is a massive Land Raider Spartan chassis converted into a heavy fortress breaking tank through the addition of a single massive Dreadhammer Cannon. Buildings beware, shells the size of space marines tend to care little for the reinforced concrete and iron ramparts. So one really cool thing about Horus Heresy is that they're basically just built all the chassis for the major tanks. And now they're just making sprues to like convert those same tanks into all the different variants. Uh, which is pretty freaking awesome. This thing is definitely a beast. The siege cannon on the front is massive in the other pictures we've seen. And uh, I'm sure some people are pretty excited for this. Uh, so we see the end and the death volume one uh, siege of terra we see the emperor on the golden throne uh, pretty cool little piece of artwork right here definitely very iconic so we know that's coming now on to the new stuff the end is nigh and the full story behind the horse heresy climax will be laid bare when the first volume of the end and the death drops in 2023 this multi-part epic heralds and the end of the siege of terra series Complete with twists and turns you'll never see coming as the Emperor and Horus near their final fateful encounter. Alright, so on to these previews here. So the first one is clearly a jet bike. Looks like it is a Space Marine on jet bike from the Chainsword. Normally you could argue maybe it's a Custode, but we've never seen Custodes with any kind of uh, Chainswords or anything like that. So I would have to say, likely this is a new kit or potentially character or possibly a little bit of both we can't really tell but it does look very similar to the style jet bikes offered currently which are similar to the custodes bikes as well but the chain sword really makes me think that this is in fact a space marine it's tough to tell from the actual armor uh, but it does look like a new space marine bike likely a character all right and then next we have whatever's going on right here so as crazy as it sounds for some reason, we've seen a bunch of new assassins come out. And for some reason, this strikes me as being an assassin. Potentially even like a chaos assassin. 
Uh, it appears to have like some big durable kind of like spine thing coming up. Probably connects to the head. Maybe it has some kind of psychic powers or something. Uh, it has a giant claw on one hand. So it could be like the equivalence of like an assassin with like a power fist type weapon. Or it could be some kind of crazy like chaos mutation. We do see some random spikes. So again, gives me the impression that it's something chaos. Now, it is possible that it has nothing to do with an assassin. And that it is just chaos. But also makes me think maybe it's something to do with Mechanicus as well. There's quite a bit of Mechanicus in Horus Heresy. And sometimes it does kind of have like a little bit of an evil look to it. So maybe that's kind of what we're looking at there. And then next we have a Librarian here. Uh, the reason I say it's a Librarian, you can see the hand kind of up in the air, kind of like he's casting. But this looks like the little piece that kind of comes over the back of their head. So I think we're kind of looking at this at a weird angle, either like it's facing away maybe, or possibly it's just an optical illusion because we're only looking at the silhouette. But essentially, this would be like the backpack right here. This would be like the left arm up in the air. This is the back and cloak right here. He's looking, in this case, let's say, away from us. So looking towards the top right corner here. And then this is the other arm holding a staff. So this comes over his head, and that's sort of like the little psychic, uh, like, I don't know what it actually serves, what purpose, but the thing that's on librarians sometimes. And then obviously we have the staff right here. Not sure about lore or what specific psychic character this would be. I would imagine probably somewhere out there somebody sees this staff and has a pretty good idea. Uh, it makes me think of Horus and like the eye. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily have to be the case. I'm not sure how everything developed back then. My lore from Horus Heresy is all from back in the day. From like when there was only a few books. And a lot of that stuff has been retconned. So even stuff that I do remember correctly from decades ago uh, likely has changed. Uh, but I definitely do not remember specific like individual characters, names, etc. So maybe you know who this guy is. But I'm going with a librarian. And I feel like a lot of the stuff back then could be either chaos or heretics or just regular. Uh, so not really sure specifically. And now a quick message from this week's sponsor. This video is sponsored by CMOGames.com, where you can get 15% off most Games Workshop pre-orders, and they go live right at midnight Saturday mornings. CMOGames.com offers free shipping on orders over $25 in the U.S. 48, and most orders ship within 24 hours. CMOGames.com has been selling Games Workshop products online for more than 20 years, and customer service is their top priority. CMOGames.com carries the full line of Games Workshop products, including 40K, Age of Sigmar, Kill Team, Warcry, Paints, Hobbies, and Tools. Visit CMOGames.com using the affiliate link in the description below so they know you heard about CMOGames.com from Warhammer Man Studios. Now, back to the video. But that's not all we saw. What could some of these other hints be? More armored firepower, perhaps some high-speed reinforcements. That gentleman seems to be holding a fancy stick, and only space marines of a decidedly mystical nature tend to carry those into battle. Let us know what you'd like to see on your Twitter and Instagram pages, and stay tuned to Warhammer Community website for latest reveals. So, I'm not sure, did they show us all of the still images? Because for some reason, it felt like there might be a couple more. So, that Horus is just beautiful. The Typhon, very, very cool as well. Siege of Terra artwork, absolutely amazing. Okay, so there that was the... This looks like the same chassis for the tank with another big weapon on there but this one looks much much longer as it kind of turns that corner there at the end it gives me the impression that this barrel is long so i'm not sure exactly what it is from the profile but this kind of slanted forward track look makes me think and then the longer kind of barrel uh, that it's going to be something on that same chassis. This looks very chaos to me, or Mechanicus. Uh, but could also just be a regular old assassin or something like that. Uh, we'll have to see. You can kind of see the spine a little more pronounced, kind of going up to what looks like the top of the head. And then a little closer idea of the gun right here. But again, you can see this is definitely like a big kind of like power claw or mutation. And again, the chaotic nature of the spikes and everything. 
Okay, so this looks obviously like some form of a sniper because it's Horus Heresy. Um, and you can kind of see the foot right here. It does look Space Marine in nature. Uh, very, very cool looking overall. I mean, the fact that he is specifically a Space Marine looking sniper by the backpack and everything like that. Uh, maybe like some kind of knife sticking out or actually probably some kind of targeting device or something like that. Uh, pretty cool silhouette overall. Probably going to be a cool model. I would assume that maybe it's Raven Guard by the fact that they tend to be like more character hunters. Uh, that does not have to be the case though. And I know there have been some pretty cool snipers previously available from Forge World for the Marines. And then we've got our bike. Yeah, okay. So they really just left out one version of the tank. And then also that sniper. So again, just kind of looking at the profile, the way the front tracks slant forward, it does remind me of this thing a lot. It doesn't appear to have this little front piece on it. And the barrel doesn't appear to be as chunky, but a little more long. But again, tough for me to tell. And I don't know a ton about the Horus Heresy stuff. So uh, very interesting. Some cool previews there. Uh, definitely some excitement for the Horus Heresy players out there. And a lot of that stuff obviously can be taken as relics in 40k as well. Uh, let me know how impressive the stats are for Horus currently in the game. I'm curious just how strong the Primarchs are uh, having never played Horus Heresy. So, uh, so let me know what you're most excited about. What else do you think is coming? Uh, are you able to identify specifically what tank or potential character uh, we have in the Psyker, the Bike, or the Sniper? I uh, always like to hear from you guys. And obviously if one of these games is your specialist game, uh, you likely have a little more knowledge from the inside than I do. Uh, so it really helps when you share for the community and for myself as well. Special thanks to CMO Games for sponsoring this. And obviously 2023, looking like it's going to be a very cool, very exciting year. That's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and I'm out of here.